once again, I want to say thank you to the Cincinnati Picker. Hello YouTube, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I bought from the Cincinnati Picker website. I'm going to link his website and his YouTube channel down below, so make sure if you're not already subscribed to him. And if you don't mind, you could subscribe to me too. I spent $165 on his website, and this is what I got. I bought three lots from his website. The first lot was 200 cars. Some of them were vintage. Most of them were vintage, actually. These are the cars that can be sold by themselves. These are the cars that I could not find on eBay. It is a bunch of newer cars, like late... 90s early 2000s and late 2000s actually um they're probably not going to be that much i'm still going to look them up later but yeah i'll probably lock those all up now these cars already looked up a lot of vintage cars there's three tonkas right here a bunch of monster trucks planes a lot of these i could be lot up about five percent of the cars were in pretty rough condition and missing pieces this one you see it's it has the that one's supposed to have a roof on it this one missing doors this one is supposed to have a little gate around it but it's fine i'm gonna make one of the cars is about 75 dollars so i'm gonna make my money back just on one car and this is the car's estimate profit is i would say around 300. these are all unbranded cars i don't know what i'm going to do with them probably sell them locally in a big lot like 50 cents a piece or something <laughs> This is the next thing that I got. I bought these cards, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, for fifty dollars. Is there any background noise? There's a tree next to my window, and it keeps on hitting my window. So this stack right here was really bad condition or fake cards. About I don't know, forty of them were fake. These are all vintage Pokemon cards, a whole stack of them, but they're the common ones. Could lot all those together. This is a shadowless Pokemon card. If you didn't know, you see that you see how it's like right there? There's usually a shadow and that one does not. You have to whenever you buy Pokemon cards look out for that. A stack of uh, first editions, about five. This is a stack of hollows or reverse hollows. This is um, first edition Yu Gi Oh! This is super rare Yu Gi Oh! And then these Yu Gi Oh! cards I could sell by themselves. And I separated the good Pokemon cards by price. This is less than 10 bucks, but these are pretty desirable cards. These are 10 to $50 for the whole stack right there. This is 50 to 100. And this is a 100 plus stack right here. This card I could probably sell for 110. Some of these cards were in pretty bad condition, like creases and tape and stuff on them. These are just the, like, common cards. I also got 100 comic books for $65, and this is a whole stack of ones I'd have to bundle together because they aren't worth enough. I don't think I'm going to go through all of them right now, but, um... Yeah, a whole stack. You know, these are worth it to sell individually. I just don't remember how much they um they are. Um, 
Dun, dun. Ripley's Believe It or Not, The House of Secrets, Star Spangled War, Mod, v Mod Wheels, Knights of the Round Table, Giant Batman. This is, um, I'm pretty sure this is a comic book with other comic books in it, like older ones. This one, this is about a $75 to $80 comic book. That's crazy. Iron Man. This is the first of that suit. It's the self suit. This is a self stealth suit. This is a um, Superman. Superman Man of Steel poster. Aquaman 12 cents. These are worth quite a bit actually. It's kind of weird. Some old yeah. She Hulk. Venom. And these I think were throw ins. Once again, I want to say thank you to the Cincinnati Picker.